try to get something. I didn't know who made who and whatnot. So it was really fun to get up with. And this is an example. This is one of the ones that survived. And this is what's left. And it's really cool. And the ladies did a nice, nice job. But you know me being the dad, always wanting a teachable moment and whatnot, is when I got up the next day, I realized that there were some raw edges. And I don't want to be a stickler for perfection. But I thought, hey, we can do this with not some raw edges, too. So today, we're going to make some really cool headbands, right? Yeah. Easy. But we're going to do not some raw edges. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. And I'm going to let brand new, my brand new Juki, and I'm going to let Ruby use it. And so we practiced for a few minutes uh, right before we started putting all the cameras on live. And so we know she's going to do a fantastic job. But if not, I might have to jump over and help Fred or whatnot. So we're just going to. Do a quick comments check here. Make sure everybody's doing great. Oh, Michelle's out there. And I see uh, folks from Texas are out there. And Sue is out there. And Joy, fantastic. Digging it. All right. And um, again, hopefully everybody else is enjoying along on Instagram and YouTube here with us. Um, so as we get ready to dive into here, I guess the most important thing is always fabric selection. Yeah. Right? So like. Awesome. Okay, cool. Maybe that's working good. I'm waving. I'm virtually I'm over here checking the comments on Instagram, virtually waving at my Instagrammers. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're still with us. I'm hoping that YouTube is sounding a little bit better. Uh, I see more folks over there popping back in. Excellent, everybody. Wonderful. How are we doing over here on the ceiling? Oh, it's great. I was going to bring everybody in for the close-up, but it's probably actually better if I don't move right now. It looks like they can almost see what's going on. Here, let's do a little bit. Chop your fingers off. Don't chop your fingers off. Okay, hold still over there. Well, it looks like it's in frame. Why is it? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you ready for this exciting? This is the big tube that I'm going to do. I'm going to take the safety pin, and again, the narrower the tube, the more pressure this is going to be. So this is a pretty easy one. I'm just going to start to poke the safety pin in and start to let this turn right sides back out. Ruby's going to go ahead and start to pull on the cord. Go ahead. And if you're by yourself, you just work on it and pull on it with one hand and work the other. And just like that, the magic happens. It's like a shedding snake. All right? How cool is that? Will you unbend me, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Watch out. So now I'm going to press this. And what I like to do is I like to get it so that that seam is kind of on what will become the inside or the back side mm -hmm. of the bandana. So I'm just kind of finding the edge. And I don't really have a good trick for getting it to flop perfectly on one side. But this gingham is so well printed, you can't see the seam really. You know, you don't see the bleed through, right? Mm. Not partly. But on the white one, I can kind of see the seam. So depending on what color fabrics, it might be more or less important. I don't know. Are you dancing for everybody right now? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. I'm oh, to... wait, where Watch are you out. on TikTok? Where Watch you... out. Um... You may see me on the TikTok for you page when I have a million followers because I'm I'm almost there. Or you may not. You just never know. Or, or, <laughs> or not because you never know. But right now I've gotten on the front I, page. I did a TikTok review at Christmas, didn't I? The graphic Yeah, that one didn't do very good. It didn't. I wonder why. I made a new account though, so then I could do all the trendy ones. <laughs> and I've already gotten a free page. Four times in under 24 hours. Aren't you glad to know the importance of the things that everybody's doing while they're at, they are staying safe at home right now? Um, they're increasing their TikTok following and they're helping their dad increase their social media, media following as well. All right. So as soon as we refresh, let's talk them through how to finish this edge off. Okay. Oh, yeah. And while you do that, here, I'll point out mine. Go ahead. And I got to press. So basically, you like. Hold it still. And then you fold it in so it creates like this little, I don't know, what would you call it, Dad? Like 
a finished edge, and I usually will either cut the selvage off if it's got really rough edges, or if it's one, hide it. yeah, you can just hide it, and that's how far you would go to roll. So with this, so we tried a couple, and on the blue one that Ruby and our friend first made, they did these really cool like diagonal 45 cuts that were really really sharp looking like that, and they looked great, but. For this finished edge, it's a little trickier. Of course, I used white thread while I was selling this one just real quick. So you can either do a straight finished edge like this, or you can do a cur you know, a 45 bias edge like that. I were kind of bad though. And they did a little tippy top. Yep. It That's was like 3 a.m. and we were going crazy. What it was is it was two young people enjoying some creative time and just stitching along and having a blast. Yeah, we didn't watch video. And I think that's really that. super, super cool if you ask me. And the parents were, were okay with the fact that we stayed up later than they asked it. Well, they weren't. They didn't, uh, well, they weren't mad because we didn't wake them up, even though we thought we would when we mm. had, like, the sewing machine done as well. But they're all over the stairs, so mm. it's okay. Nice. Okay. So we've got this edge turned under. You ready to show them the top stitching? Yeah. Did you get your edge turned? I uh, yeah. Nice. Well done. So you can press it or you can just roll it with your fingers, but this is basically the last step here. You just stitch over it. Okay. And when we top stitch, if I can, I want to try to get that needle and that thread as close to the edge as possible. So she's not even really going to sew right up against the edge guide unless she chooses to, which it looks like is why she's at right now. You can tell we didn't practice this one much today, did we? Yes, no, we did not. I should say the video, the headbands you've been making like a banshee. So yeah. I just going to keep on running backwards while your finger's on it. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Automatic red cutter button. Press your foot. Let's get okay. that side. Yay. I think if you, like, just get the hang of it and do, like, if you're making headbands, like, this, even the first one, it takes, like, five minutes. Like 10 minutes or 7 minutes. Before you start, let's try something. And it might be tough now because we've already cut the thread.